I can just hold it. Here. Well, it's, it's not. Fuck, I don't know. I don't think. We're, we're like three, three seconds in. All right, we gotta start. We gotta start. So I know there are a ton of negative videos out there about people getting stalked. Like all you gotta do is search it, they're everywhere. My stalker coworker, he sent me my social security, my creepy stalker. I got banged with the toothbrush, which is related apparently, probably not for any good reason. And don't get me wrong, that kind of stuff is messed up and it's wrong. And I'm definitely lampshading right now because I'm gonna say something very creepy. <laughs> But I think uh, wanting to stalk someone is kind of natural. And I know that because I've uh, stalked someone. When I did it, I didn't see shit wrong with it. I'm just gonna keep it real. Welcome to Kurt Ritchie, where we subvert conventions and occasionally ethics. Um. But the reason I'm saying there isn't anything wrong with it isn't just because I'm trying to deflect jail time which I am, it's because everyone does it. And you know how that works, works. everyone does it, it's, it's fucking cool, all right? So let me explain why stalking is actually kind of natural. Oh, no, 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 no. Um, on the topic of stalkers, uh, do you want to keep your personal information protected from would-be cyber assailants? And also me, apparently? Well, you can with this video sponsor, NordVPN. Thanks to this dope, super secure VPN, which you can get at nordvpn.org forward slash Kurt Ritchie for 75% off a three year plan, link in the description. You can finally relax when it comes to your security online. Which is something I like to do as well. If we could uninstall our free not NordVPN, which is a bit. Yeah, shit would be a good descriptor. Here, look, let me level with y'all real quick. See, recently, um, we've needed to have some extra security uh, around here, and I might have jumped the gun on what security I chose, but- Why did we need cybersecurity? Well, well, technically, everyone should have it, you know, to preemptively protect yourself online from hackers and thieves trying to steal your data. No, you don't preemptively do anything. Thanks. Why did we need cybersecurity? See, uh, Look, why we needed in whatever incriminating and or embarrassing password someone might not want to link onto the internet because of it Never ask that Shouldn't be discussed Alright, uh, in the meantime, do you, do you think you can uninstall it while I try to, like, finish up the video? Kurt I have no idea what I'm doing Great Alright, anyway, we're gonna continue See, to really understand why stalking is okay F*** that sounds weird We gotta define it According to the National Center for Health and Research, a national center for that, we can break down stalking into five definitive traits. Following someone or showing up wherever that person may be, f***ing weird, repeatedly contacting someone, often by phone, email, or text, yikes, making threats of violence against someone, holy sh**, posting or sharing information about someone via the internet or by word of mouth, oof, and tracking someone's activities using hidden cameras or GPS, please stop. Now all these things sound kinda bad. And despite how bad these things sounded, I did them anyway. No, that sounds wrong. I get, the longer we go with this video, the worse I, I sound. Please don't call the police. See, the reason I thought like this is because there was something in me that made me want to do those things. And it's a common ailment that a lot of people have had that affects their mind, uh, vision even, and their perception of reality. And that shit is called having a crush. Those symptoms also describe cancer, so... You know, keep that in mind. See, crushes make you act. act, act, act. Uh, this is getting unbearable. Any luck, Vivi? If by luck you mean probably making it worse, then yes, I'm actually having incredible luck. <sighs> okay. Honestly, though, why did you get the VPN? I got the VPN because cybersecurity is really important with all our information. Oh, so you're just gonna keep not explaining. That's fine. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm just gonna find out on my own, you know. Anyways, see, crushes make you act, uh, for lack of a better term, uh, obsessed. And also, obsessed is a term that some other people might use to describe. Mm? Your first thought, last thought, they're always on your mind. You want to know more about them. Much like, mm? 
Okay, Kurt, they get it. I I'm just trying to make sure. It's this whole big lovey-dovey thing, you know? You want to be around them 24-7. You want to stare at their face for an unholy amount of time. You want to get to know them a lot more than you want to get to know other people. Well, th that's assuming you wanted to get to know other people in the first place. Which I sure as f didn't. But that's kind of besides the point. You know, Kurt Ritchie hates people unless they're moderately attractive. What else is new? Anyways, the problem with fulfilling these thoughts, though, is that, well, the, on paper, they're pretty weird. But there is one workaround for this. A great transition. Yeah, at the beginning of my high school career, I didn't want to get to know people, but I did want a girlfriend, which makes complete sense. I didn't talk to anyone because well, I just wasn't good at it. I was, I was ugly. And usually the solution for being ugly was the internet. And most would think so, it's social media. It allows you to talk to people. Well, uh, uh, wrong. See, I kept social media just to have it, you know? But I wasn't really on it like that. The thing about Young Richie and social media is that I'd still have to know the people on there to use it. And I don't know if you know this, but the qualification for knowing someone is to, you know, occasionally talk to them. You might see the predicament I'm in here. So during the beginning of high school, I was pretty social media illiterate, all right? I didn't know much about his capabilities and I didn't really care. And I was all about to change. So back to the crushes thing. So maybe like a year and some change later, for some reason I had grown some balls and decided I really actually wanted to talk to my crush. I don't know why, probably because I literally had grown some balls of uh, puberty. I went up to my crush at the time, we'll call her Jasmine, and I actually, you know, talked to her. And believe it or not, I got her number, along with a couple something else's. Her Instagram and Facebook. And Facebook. Uh, baby, how's it going? Not great. Maybe if you told me why you got this one in the first place, this would be a lot easier. Grown some Facebook balls. balls. I literally don't see how that would help at all. All right, as an alternative, I do have an idea. <sighs> Thank goodness, what? I think I'm just gonna hard reset everything, so we might be running without a VPN for a little bit. No, 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 no. What? If you get rid of the shit VPN, we're fully exposed, and I'd rather have the glitching than no protection. There's a sex joke there, and I can't think of it right now. Mm-hmm. So whatever you do, don't unplug it, all right? Well, are you gonna tell me why you installed it? No. Okay. Anyways, the thing about Star. Oh sh. Oh sh. Wait. Just tell me and I'll turn it back on. Stop. Stop. Like I was saying, my crush gave me her Instagram and Facebook, which made me realize the point of social media and the reason I should be on it now and forever. Basically, to look at people's faces without consent, consensually. Then you have the option of having your crush on social media. Uh, see, adding your crush on there is a lot like, like Taco Bell. It looks really appealing from first glance. You think you can moderate yourself, but by the time you actually get in there, you will not be able to understand the amount of your own shit you'll be dealing with. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where the stalking started. No, I wasn't following her around physically, but online. And no, 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 I don't want to hear that it's not stalking because it is, because it follows exactly the same five traits of the, the being stalkerish. I was one, following someone or showing up wherever that person happens to be. I would follow her from place to place, but instead of it being in person and weird, I did it online and weird. Jasmine was on Facebook? Eh, look who's staying online a little bit longer. When Jasmine might post something on Twitter, but I, I guess I got something to tweet too, you know? It was the IRL equivalent of waiting outside of Starbucks for your crush to go in. Oh, and if you want to wait for me outside of Starbucks, uh, check out my Discord server. I know where to plug this, so uh, it seems like this section about following people around would be a great one. I also, too, repeatedly contacted her, uh, often by phone, email, or text. See, often when I'd text Jasmine, the conversations would just end. Either because we had nothing to talk about, she missed the message, I was boring, usually the last one. But actually, because she was my crush, I wanted to keep talking to her. But there was something that I understood. You cannot text somebody 18 times in a row just to see if they missed the message. Like that's common sense that some people don't understand. I check my shit every 30 seconds. I know you've been texting me. I'm just ignoring you. <laughs> okay, maybe not, not always, but usually I am. So the solution to that is these. 
these little notifications. See, I wanted to give Jasmine a little reminder that I existed. Not as big as a text message, but not as small as doing nothing and crying in my room. Three, making threats of violence against someone. Okay, I didn't do that. I didn't do, not all of these count. I just go, just go to the I four, posted or shared information about someone via the internet or by word of mouth. What is the ultimate medium of communicating how you feel about your crush in early high school years? If you pick D, uh, half credit, uh, the real answer was E, Frank Ocean. Bro, posting lyrics about your crush was the ultimate way to share information about it. You know how many times I, I posted a tornado came around my room before you came? Motherfucker, a girl hasn't stepped into my room at my parents' house to this day. And when I wasn't pretending I wasn't a 15 year old from Columbus, I was posting those ambiguous messages about my crush or subtweeting, or I guess at my age at the time, uh, sub uh, Facebook posts, sub books, sub, or the, the we're workshop and the name. And five, tracking someone's activities using hidden cameras or GPS. Yep, I've done that one too. It wasn't like I was actually tracking my crush with GPSs or anything like I do now. See, at the time, Snapchat had just come out with their new stories feature, which I completely abused. You wanna know what your crush is up to? Uh, check her story. She she might be at home, class, traveling, now you know. So, all right, so I just lifted hey, off. Kurt, what's up with this folder titled, don't look in this folder, it's all my passwords and login information. Also, why do you have a folder titled, don't look in this folder, it's all my passwords and login information. Shit. V Vibby, please don't. Um, where, are you supposed to be fixing this thing? I am, but also I'm doing this now. Oh my god. I've got a working theory that the reason you got that sh VPN has something to do with this folder. Mostly because it's the only folder on this computer. Um. Which, if that is the case, in hindsight, was an awful idea, by the way. Look, can you just not look in the folder? Please. Anyways, um, we were talking about my severe stalking tendencies. Well, the whole point of this is to say what I said at the beginning. Stalking is natural because everyone does it. And how do I know everyone does it? Because these are the qualifications for stalking. And I just explained how I did every qualification. And I know you related to doing at least one of these things. Gotcha, bitch. Got online because they got online. Liked or replied to a tweet so they know you exist. Not that. Posted a subtweet or lyric about your crush. Checked their story to see what they were doing. And those are just the subtle ones. I'm not even mentioning the lot of y'all who text a crush 18 times actually for real though. Like, come on, stalking your crush is ingrained in the culture. They make memes about it. There are stalking memes. And if you still doubt me, it's cool because I got a homie here that's gonna help me spit some facts. He's a real good friend of mine. We kicked it a bit in college. Uh, his name is Empirical Research Study. A survey conducted among Facebook users showed that half of the people among said study made similar stalkery actions like the ones we talked about, like making posts about the person or going through their profile when it came to dealing with their ex. And before y'all get on me, exes and crushes are kind of in the same wheelhouse here. Like both of them, you can't seem to get out of your brain. You just want to marry one and marry and or kill the other. And it makes sense that everyone's a stalker because it's human nature to want to know more about and be around people of interest. And this all goes triple time when you have a crush because you are, for lack of a better word, obsessed with them. Like y'all know Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Like this one goes, all right. Now I'm not crazy, all right? I know this isn't real stalking. Like checking your crush's Twitter on the daily is gonna get you thrown in jail or something like that. Nah, this is punk stalking. This is a pussy stalking. This is Kurt Ritchie stalking. That's what we're gonna call it, Kurt Ritchie stalking. If you're actually fearing for your life because of actual stalking, like here are some sources that might help you out. So why is everyone being okay and doing this version and not the other one? See, the difference between Kurt Ritchie stalking and actual, I kinda wanna wear your face stalking is that me stalking comes with the added perk that you know social convention. I feel like stalkers would get like a much better rep if they just got a Twitter account. Because stalking someone on Twitter isn't weird. Like, I, it, it, at least it, it's not supposed to be. <laughs> because it's safe, it's anonymous, it's not in front of us, so it basically doesn't f***ing exist, and everything is public. So it's normal to be a stalker, we've said that. All right, we're good, we're good. But, you know, I, I can't be that weird. I'm already on some type of watch list at this point. So to be safe, let me put a big ass asterisk on my theory here. Kurt Ritchie stalking is indeed normal, but y'all is not healthy. Okay. And how do I know that? Well, I have another friend. Uh, he's a real cool dude. We hang out all the time. His name's 
stalking experience. See, eventually me and Jasmine ended up having a falling out. Not because of the stalking, in fact, that probably helped the relationship, but more so because she just realized, oh, Kurt sucks. Yeah, whoops, I forgot, forgot about that. So since I couldn't talk to her in person, I just check her stuff online every day. Does she got a new boo? Is she subtweeting about me? And a lot of people do this with their exes. You know, she wasn't an ex. A lot of people do this with their exes. But this stuff low key consumed me like it was bad. Like for me, it got so bad that at one point I made a whole ass fake Instagram to see what she was doing. I knew it, you have a fake account. <clears throat> I didn't realize how wild I was acting until I accidentally liked the picture she posted two years ago. In fact, when making this video, I accidentally like the picture again. So it's still a problem. So what am I getting at here? Well, stalking by these five definitions is human nature. We just do all these things online instead of in person because we know it's weird if we did it in real life. And we don't want to because we know what social norms are, but we do want to know about the people we're into and be around. However, although it is natural, it is unhealthy, and you could honestly try to limit how much that stuff connects you to the partner because you could really take yourself to a negative place if you do. Oh, thank God. Ew. You looked at the folder. I looked at the folder. Why is the password to your fake Instagram? Uh, 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 your crush's actual name. Uh, 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 followed by baby daddy. Oh, f you, Vibby. Is this real? Yes, okay, yes. One of the passwords I had in rotation for a while was my crush's name, this baby daddy. I wasn't kidding about the crush obsession thing, guys. Is that why you got the protection? Yes, okay, deadass, this is not a joke. I have repeatedly got emails from my fake Instagram telling me that it's got a sign in from, I don't know, fucking Thailand. <laughs> and honestly, one of the reasons could just be because I logged into it on public Wi-Fi. So while I was stalking, I was getting Stalked. That's not poetic. I don't know what the fuck is. Now, Kurt Ritchie stalking might be okay, but actual cyber stalking and stealing information isn't. Big surprise. See, believe it or not, even though you can't see it, all your private information is super duper susceptible to being hacked. I'm talking logins, bank accounts, private accounts you use to stalk your crush. And because of the issue, I had to find a solution. And I got it. So that's why I'm proud to present this video sponsor, NordVPN. Try getting my shit now. It's a virtual private network with over 5,000 servers that protects you with double data military grade encryption by changing your IP address to one on its network. What the f does that mean? I have no idea, but it's good and I'm gonna tell you why. So the way this thing works, picture yourself as you. Out on the web, you represent your data and you're naked, essentially. All the precious little giblets you don't want the world seeing are exposed. And, and no one's like worried about it, I guess. Like you'd think this would be a bigger thing. It feels like Adam and Eve or like any college party where there's cocaine. Well, you don't have to be obliviously naked because a VPN is like your hypothetical clothes that cover all the giblets from being seen. But <clears throat> some VPNs don't cover you as well as others. But Nord, if I were to stick to the analogy, is a fashion forward comfy hoodie that girlfriends always wanna steal. In fact, Nord is such a good cyber hoodie that it was ranked the literal best the best VPN by VPN Mentor last year. And even if you're like me and you're kind of broke and you have to check your bank account before you get a $5 coffee, don't worry because when you click my link in the description, nordvpn.org slash Kurt Ritchie, oh, that sounds nice. You can get this special, special offer for 75% off a three year plan plus a free month free, yo. 75%, that's three fourths off of three years of a product. Like I didn't even know 2022 was a real year until I made this video. And in 30 days, if you aren't satisfied, you can get your money back, guaranteed. And trust me, it pays to know someone isn't out there stealing your information or identity because you went forward and protected yourself online. So again, get some peace of mind and go to nordvpn.org forward slash Kurt Ritchie. Mm. Link in the description for 75% off a three year plan. Oh, what's up y'all? Oh my God, if you were seeing this, you were like real as hell. Oh my goodness. That was a 20, that was almost a 20 minute video. How, how? Sorry I've been gone for so long, I'm gonna keep it short because that was a 20 minute video. You probably, you can see the bags under my eyes. I look incredibly tired. So if you like that video, I highly suggest checking out my why I hated becoming attractive video. This video is a huge step for me because it was like, very different from what I usually do. I added like, there's like a B plot going on and I wanna do more of that and like, uh, so if y'all liked it, please let me know. It's important to figure out if I wanna 
keep the content going. Like but that's about it. Thank you again to this video sponsor, NordVPN. Y'all let me pay rent doing the thing I love, which is incredible. So thank you guys. So I'm, I'm about to be out. Uh, I'm gonna hang on my Discord server right after this video. So join that, link in the description. Link, link is in the description for that as well. All right, y'all, I'm out. I'm gonna take a nap. Actually, I can't, because I have stuff to do still. All right, but uh, I'm out. Uh, I'm gonna take a nap anyway. Peace.